hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel yes welcome back to the channel and we're in our episode as we call it why are you telling my business don't be telling my business and i'm gonna tell you i can i can and i will i will i can can and i will will <coughs> okay I'm still under the weather, so it might be a few breaks here and there for a cough or a little sneeze or a little sniff. Okay, but I just want to get this quick video in, honey. Miss Gina is talking to her son, Dennis, and it's scandalous. Yes, marvelous. Child, Dennis' mama is telling him cut ties with that trick right now. And thank you, the Jasmine brand, for letting me use your little picture, okay? And yes, it all stems from Portia Family Matters sitcom show. That was a total disaster flop train wreck. The train has derailed from the tra uh, train track and it's flying over the canal where it's going to crash and burn come Sunday. I am more than certain. All right. Yes, honey. Dennis, can you say he's a good father? I don't know. Can you say Portia is a good mother? I don't know that either. We're not behind closed doors to see really what goes on. But I can tell you one thing. Miss Gina's saying Portia ain't shit. Her family ain't shit. Her mama ain't shit. And I'm like, there, what? What, Miss Gina? Miss Jenna is showing and proving, okay? She tried to be there for Portia. She tried to bury the hatchet. She tried to make a fence or bend the uh, 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 olive, branch, olive branch uh bridge to a Diane. But now she's just too fit to be tired. All that she care about now is her granddaughter, PJ. Her only granddaughter at that. Her first grandchild. So she's feeling some all kinds of ways. She said, this woman has totally disrespected me. She comes from a woman who's uh, materialistic and this, that, and third. And that's probably where she get her traits from. But guess what? I built what we have over here. I helped you build it. And my son, it's going to be a legacy left for your daughter. Because Miss Diane didn't leave nothing for her daughter to get aboard and, and build on to. And I'd be damned if I'm going to let... Two Bopsy twins and the stepsister come in and try to run and take anything. And it seems like Lauren is getting too close to you too. So you watch your step with her because she might be trying to be Portia's men and me. Come in, swoop in and, and get you on your low defenses and she on her low defenses. Then you pop goes the weasel. You done impregnated the other uh, daughter. Okay, so stop. Slow your roll. The woman done quit both her jobs. Real Housewives of Atlanta. Thinking this spinoff was going to be golden. Her golden goose to fly on her own. Hell no. Crashed and burned. The stork went back to heaven. Didn't want to have nothing to do with Portia. Okay. Didn't deliver her that golden goose egg that she wanted as something. Now she looked at all kinds of crazy and confused. She got impregnated. Or y'all got impregnated together. I don't know what y'all was thinking. I guess y'all was smoking the ooh wee when y'all sitting got in them sheets. And made a pretty baby girl, which is my baby girl. My baby girl, okay? From y'all two train wrecks of people. All right, I raised you, but I know you ain't no good either at some time. But then I know Portia, too. She ain't no good at some time. But ain't no sense of the baby getting disturbed and being all kind of frightened here, frightened there, getting all frantic. And then you, she going over there dating a man that ain't even uh, legally to uh, be dating. You know, he's still married when she was messing with him. And here we all him trying to support this helper. Done had the baby. Still acting like a little hoe running around. Now, a little garden too. Don't know which man she want. And think she can have them all at the same damn time. Well, I'm here to tell you. No, Portia. And no, Miss Diane. You ain't finna take and run through the money that I have successfully helped build. Thinking you going to get it over off on my son. That's not going to happen. Y'all too much running around acting like sisters. Play toys. Barbies or whatever. And my baby girl is suffering. Which is PJ. And my son he may be a womanizer. But he ain't no bad dad. Okay. He's a good dad. He knows what he needs to do. 
You may take a little more time trying to get to that altar with the right woman. But I don't think Portia going to be it. Because she's Miss Thotalina. She wants to go with the higher bidder. And she wants to be the cream on anybody's Sunday or a chocolate float. Okay? And that's not good in my book. That's not wholesome. That's not, uh, what do you call it? Respectful and moralistically of any type of value. So, no, ma'am. I'm getting out the family. Mama Liz or Auntie Liz, Jose Williams' daughter, didn't even want to be bothered with y'all. She was trying to figure out what the hell she was on this last episode because none of y'all were her family. And she was pretty much talking about the non-existent people that we don't need to talk about because they weren't family. But we were trying to support her at the christening or the baby shower of Portia Williams and my son Dennis. But then she's sitting up here calling me everything but the child of God. They ain't gonna try to throw allegedly paws at me. Uh uh-uh. uh. No, 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 no. Then she gonna say my son is unfit, don't pay child support going around here giving false jewelry or false jewelry that ain't real and then she talking about she want the co parent when it with they, they need no co parent with Simon. Simon's a non mother effing factor we don't need to be bothered with him and my tammy voice on the basketball housewives or basketball wives show y'all know that show sitting up here got us looking all kind of crazy thinking dennis and her trying to make up and hell it was just last december 2020 and she coming in 2021 talking about she marrying a billionaire and it ain't my son he ain't african she's sitting up there talking about this nigerian man called simon g okay what the hell is that going on where did that come from where did that that came out of out of left field somewhere i'm like i'm old and i'm seasoned but I damn sure ain't no fool. And I built my money to retire. And retire I shall do. Okay. On my own dime. So I'm telling my son. Go to get that. Uh, forget that prenup. Go to get you primary custody. Hey I go for the gusto. Try to get full custody. Okay. Because I don't like that man right there. He seems shady as hell. He might try to take my child, my grandchild of Nigeria, and I would never see her again. I don't trust him. No, I don't. So I need you to hightail it down there to that full county courthouse. Put in some papers on Miss Portia. Let them know you'll pay child support. You'll do what you got to do. And right now, she ain't got no money anyway. She living off a whole prayer and a dream at this point in time because she don't have this nation. She don't have a housewives of Atlanta. How is she going to be secure and deem the fit parent when she she's unemployed? Okay? Unemployed like um, Uncle Floyd. All right. Uh-uh. No, sir. We got to do better. We know better. We're going to do better. So, I would take the time off after the holidays. I'm going to go down there. And we're going to file some papers. Okay? We need some attorneys to be talking. Because we need on paper that you want full custody. Portia's not acting right. And she's going around here being violent. Violent towards the grandmama. I have rights. I might need to put in my own petition of, uh, 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 what do you call it? A uh, restraining order because she's holding me hostage from my grandchild and she want to put paws on me allegedly. Okay, and I don't like it. I don't like it. And then it should be right there with his mama, especially with that situation of allegedly Portia swinging in the air at his mama and hopefully, hopefully trying to make a connection to her face, her head, or any part of her body. Okay, and anybody else that can see it happening, they need to be protecting Mama Gina too. Just because she's an elder, sometimes elderly people, seasoned people, don't get it right the first couple of times. And it might be a little dementia, Alzheimer's going on, we don't know. Or she might be just in a goddamn bad mood, you know what I'm saying? And she just needs to express her opinions, alright? And we do all have opinions, and they can be expressed. But we do not jump, we do not slap, we do not even verbally Talk in no cussing tone to no elder. Okay? That's just like one of the card rules. It may not be in the Bible, but I think it is in the Bible. Because it does say respect your mother and your father. Okay? And don't spell the rod. But it seems like Diane hid the rod. She buried the rod when it came to Portia. Because it don't seem like Portia got any butt whoopings. And right now, she need every last butt whooping we can think of right now put on her behind. Because she is too spoiled, too uneducated. Too naive and gullible that we don't need to be uh, 
dealing with her anymore. And then talking about having primary custody. Talking about she's a single mom. But hell, Dennis is a single dad. Okay, but at least he got jobs. Where is your job, Portia? That's what we're looking at. And the judge going to be looking too. Miss Williams, Miss Portia Williams, are you employed? No, judge. I'm not. That's why I need to claim spousal support and child support. Hell no, because you ain't married to Dennis. You ain't getting Jack, okay? We'll negotiate the uh, the uh, child support theory, but I want full custody because I really don't think you're fit, Portia. You got my child out there at book signings. You got my child out there taping for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And every time when people see a special on Dale Chanel for that work, she said, my child acting up. She, she, she looking like she mad at everybody. She crying. And she want to put paws on her. At least get, put, get that, that hand on the backside. And I, I, I can't, uh, I can't really disagree with her. And it's because Portia is overworking my child and she ain't getting paid. My child don't need to be on TV. My child don't need to be in advertisement. My child need to be in a loving family in a home at home by the fireplace or kicking it up with some toys and some friendly people. She do not need to be out here in the press looking at strangers looking at her pawing at her and she trying to figure out who the hell these people are because she don't see them she's be seeing somebody new every day that's why my baby irritated and she might have to go to counseling now it's, that does sound like Portia's fit to be taking care of my child and you know Joe, I can't be I can't be at home 100% of the time but when I am there and Portia's away uh, Portia, uh, mama got her. Now, why my mama can't have a judge? Why my mama can't have her? Well, hell, let me go over there and get her. You know what I'm saying? I always got to go through Portia. Uh-uh, Portia ain't got no jobs. So, I need to be able to make some control. So, can you put some papers together? Can you put some papers together? And, and from this point on, I don't want my daughter shown on TV. Now, she can be on her Instagram account because she does fairly well with that. <coughs> but having my daughter tape and being uh, grumpy and mean-spirited, that ain't my daughter. That's this, this Hollywood life that I don't want her to be a part of. Now, George, help me out. Now, that, that's what I be. I be sitting there right. Like, you right. You right, Dennis. Get him because he's the only one that's making sense. Even though his mama, Gina, had to come and try, try to straighten him out. That, you know, somebody need to get control of this situation because Portia is definitely wrong. Uh, you, you can't travel with your daughter on the road. Don't, have you not listened to some of these entertainers that's musicians? How they said they had to make sure that they children were taken care of because it was no life for them being on the road to be with them in hotels, out of hotels, in strange uh, venues, and, and, and having strangers, in a sense, take care of them, meeting her entourage while she's doing tapings or she's signing books or what do you call it? Book signatures for uh, her book club or, or, or signing of her book material to, you know, folks that we don't even know. Hell, COVID out there. We, we don't know. They got my baby breathing COVID out on these other folks that only want to wear a mask. George, my, my child's in danger. <laughs> I don't know. I'll be playing that shit up because I'm like, no. Portia wrong. If she want to go do all these book signings, she want to be in uh, the entertainment life, leave them younger children out of it. Hell, leave children out of it until they're 18, and then they can express whether they want to be filming for uh, tape purposes. Uh, and then they need to get a check, too. Ain't no sense of their parents making no money, and they ain't making no money. And they going to be the storyline, pretty much. Okay. So, that's all I got for this video. It was just like, Hey, Mama Gina is getting did his ass saying, no, brother, we got to move on this chick. This trick right now because she ain't acting right. She's sitting up there saying we could be a part of her family matter show because it was all about blending the families together and getting to know her fiance and this crocker uh she she sold us which she sold us some land that don't even appear out there. She done bamboozled on hood winked us and now we all looking crazy, okay? But how the editing turned out, it was in my favor because the fans love me, even though I I'm just being myself. And Porsche trying to make me look in in every kind of way of nasty. And the tables was turned. 
Hallelujah. And then they hug her fiance look like fools out there. Now she try to be in the press saying, I'm doing this to her. I ain't worth for shit. I wear fake jewelry, fake clothes, all that. But she was with me flossing when I had it. When it wasn't no Simon in her life. But no other man. She was treating me like I was the highlight. I was the best thing since sliced bread and butter. Child, judge, help me out, please. Help me out, judge. So. Dennis is winning in everybody's book. He is the fan favorite. He has won in the public opinion courtroom. Okay? He's the winner. And Portia's looking all kind of crazy and salty out here. So, y'all be the judge. Y'all let me know. Do y'all think Portia's an unfit mother? Under circumstances of what I just told you about she pulling her child everywhere and which way. And when you see PJ on television, she's irritated. She's like crying, you know, just unsettling. You know what I'm saying? She ain't no happy-go-lucky child like you see in those pictures Portia have her being posted to her. What I have on my platform that I'm showing you of her when she's with both grandmothers. Because I think both grandmothers are great. I said, but the, the bickering and the hollering and the confusion and the chaos, she's going to pull into all that negative energy and she ain't going to like nobody. Because ain't nobody been really acting correct on this show when they seem to have her around. And Portia was like, oh no, I ain't want to have her on the show, but baby, you just had her on the show on uh, this last uh episode four and three and it's like the girl with ties she been bouncing from your house to Dennis' house because y'all are no longer together or whatnot and quiet as is kept lives on speaking out don't need to be with simon by herself baby girl pj do not need to be with simon by herself okay cool he don't even like his other kids so how are we gonna uh believe he's gonna love on Porsche kid like his own. Hell he don't like his own. He I don't see him hugging on them, kissing on them, loving on them. No, I just see a projected picture. You take it for what it is and you draw your own conclusions. There's no love, nothing around um uh Simon and his children. I didn't see one decent picture that showed me they love their daddy. Like, you know, he was the best thing since Santa Claus. You know what I'm saying? Child, please. But that's all I had, guys. Y'all like and love it. Gotta have more. Keep coming to the channel. Because you know, unless my voice is taken, I'm going to be up here struggling. Try to give y'all a piece of my opinion. And see what my family think about it. Now, I know y'all going to be like, you need to be talking about Porsche. Da, 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 da. Get a grip. Get over it. We're in my house. You came over. We're going to have a conversation. Some of it's going to go like you like it. Some of it's probably not going to go like you like it. But guess what? We be respectful. We understand each other. And we move on to the next video. Because it's always going to be another video. Okay? It's all for entertainment purposes. And it's just like like minds coming together. Having a quaint conversation about a topic. That's it. That's all. No more. I have no favorite in this bandwagon of people I talk about. If you're showing me foul stuff, I'm going to come for you. If you're showing me good stuff, I am going to salute you. Okay, like, great job. You're doing that darn thing. Keep up the good work. But if your career choice is to be in this entertainment business, and you're saying you're doing one thing, showing us another thing on TV, sometimes you say it. It's my real story. It's my real life. This shit is for real. And on the other hand, you say, oh, this is for entertainment purposes. How the hell can we keep up? We can only go by what you give us. And we make our own perception and our own observations. Okay? That's all I'm saying. But that's all I got to say, guys. Y'all be breezy, and I will see y'all next video. And get down in them comments. Y'all know I love talking to y'all. And y'all know I do comment back. All right? Thank you. Blessings. <laughs>